everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today for what may be the last outdoor day for a while. We have a forecast of three or four days of rain coming and while that doesn't guarantee it's going to be raining all day or even at all on those days, this is the last day that has a clear forecast and I'm glad that I'm able to work on the foam outside because you really need a clean, clear day to work on that. Now I thought I was going to have a problem doing that because I referenced earlier that I was starting to run out of the six inch long nails and I did run out of six inch long nails yesterday. As a matter of fact, I uh, pre-cut some of these boards that go around the windows, even got the hole drilled in them and all that. Uh, but I didn't put any of them in because I'm all out of nails. Uh, but I had a big bucket of rusty nails. And we got a bunch. You can see they're not all straight. <laughs> but I got a bunch of six inch long nails. I can straighten these guys out. And uh, they're going to help me to continue working while I wait for the nails to show up. And I've decided to target the time consuming sorts of stuff that you know goes around the corners of the roof and I have to match the slope and all that stuff. Granted, that's pretty much all that's left anyway. But I'm going to be working on the stuff that takes a lot of time so that I'll be using the time while I'm waiting for the stuff to show up. Uh, the first step in getting the stuff up there is to get it cut to uh, the right shape. Uh, there's a little place where I had to notch this one to get it in there. I've got it roughly lined up. I see that the wasps are getting ready up there. Uh, that's kind of a tradition that the wasps are usually there right around when I'm trying to work. Two of them this time. Boy, this is great. Okay, uh, first step, get a bead of spray foam down. Oh my God, I really don't like wasps. I know, that's, that's a really bold statement. I'm, I'm going to uh, turn off a lot of people who love wasps, but I really hate wasps. Uh, all right, so we're putting some spray foam down. All right, so I got one bead of spray foam down along the bottom there. and. The only real place to put this can is down here. I don't have anywhere to tuck it. And now I'm going to bring this thing up and slide it into place. I've got all my tools up here. This is a good illustration of why it's not good to do this on a, a windy day. All right. Here we go. So I gotta rotate this. If I can grab it again. Okay, here we go. Ow! I just got a splinter under my fingernail. That's awesome. Maybe I should be wearing gloves. Okay, come on. I'm kind of depending on gravity to drop this thing. I'm not sure why that's a problem. There we go. Okay. Man, that splinter under my nail is not fun. Let me pull that out. Okay. And now we just should let this slide down into place. If I can get up higher, I can hook it and pull it down. Okay. So that's all in place. I've got this nail ready to go in. Right here, so it looks straight across there. You can tell what's straight a little better if you put your face next to it. You can see the curves easier. All right, and then I've got this one all set and ready to go. And I've got it marked for where it goes over there. I've got a level. Make sure it's nice and level. Not that it really matters that much, but it looks nicer if it's level. Set, set, here we go. I've got a nail over there that it's resting on. It serves as a resting aid, but also as a gauge because I marked where the nail should be touching the board. So I knew that this is actually going into a stud. Right. And I just got to get the two nails on the end. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Anything time consuming, anything that takes a lot of effort and uh, trying to get the most amount of work in using the fewest number of nails. That's it. Thanks for watching.